All right, so this paper that you have in the uh, program, it's got, you come over, you come, and it's got two sides. Everybody get that out. It's going to help you to follow me as I give you this lecture. I want to tell you something. I sent Jessica the wrong draft. It's a, it's, it's, it's a rough draft. So it's got some mistakes in it, but it can still help you follow me uh, moving forward. So don't, 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 uh, don't be too hard on me, all right? So here's my goal. I want to be up here for about 25 minutes. 25 minutes, I want to be up here uh, for 25, maybe 30 minutes. I'll try to be as quick as I possibly can be, be as efficient as I can possibly be so that you guys get what you need and you can get out of here and enjoy the rest of your day. Um, I want to tell you a quick story and then we'll get into the, 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 the meat and potatoes of this uh, lecture. Young man graduates from high school, wants to play college football, but doesn't have the grades. He has to go to junior college to play football. There he has an awful, awful, awful experience, right? His high school coach gets a job at a four-year institution coaching football. He calls him up and says, listen, man, if you get your grades together, you can come play for me. Kid transfers from that two-year institution or that junior college to a community school, gets his grades up, and things are starting to turn around. Shortly thereafter, his coach is let go. So now the kid who had an, one option has now, now has, doesn't have any options. So it was at that point he made a decision. He wants to play for a four-year institution and play college uh, football for a Division I program. Keep that in your mind. That's the seed. We'll come back to it a little bit later. All right? Here we go. 2% of people are thinking. 3% of people think they're thinking. And 95% of people would die if they had to think. See, 95% of people refuse to think for themselves and rather the universe have an effect on them versus them having an effect on the universe. 3% of people think they're being imaginative and creative by coming up with every possible reason or excuse why the system will fail or why the movement will stall. See, every time there's an opportunity to grow through adversity, they negate the potential of the solution by focusing on its deficiencies where they're highlighting its advantages. And then you have this 2%. They exhaust themselves, working and dreaming and thinking of every possible way to make the impossible impossible. And I encourage you to be that 2%. See, the 2% not only elevate, elevate themselves, they have the ability to elevate those around them. They encourage people and inspire them to be a higher version of themselves. And I'm asking you today, will you be that 2% for me this evening? Will you? Better. So my next question is, who will be next? Who will be the next victim? And who will be the next champion? I want to empower both the victim and the champion to become the extraordinary genius level talents you were intended to be, even in the midst of the trials and tribulations that you face, both from afar and up close. See, I know that each and every one of you has the ability to be more and see further and operate on a higher frequency. I call that frequency flight. Flight is being one with the universe, and it enables us to absorb the hardship and use the hardship as a catalyst to become the supernatural genius level talents we were intended to be. So how do you achieve it? What is flight? Flight is clarity, purpose, and perspective. Clarity, purpose, and perspective. Clarity first. How do you achieve it? Two steps. Quiet time. Get rid of the noise. Distraction is a death sentence to the ambitious. The next step, peace of mind. Reduce the stress and the tension in your life by acknowledging life's experiences as tools for the toolbox. Never, ever waste a good crisis. Your life is trying to get your attention and guide you towards your calling, your vocation, your purpose. So what is your purpose in life? Two quick questions, all right? You think about it. What's your, what is your genius level talent? What natural ability have you been given that you can convert, convert into a genius level skill? I'll say it again. What natural ability can you, have you been given that you can convert into a genius level skill? What is your passion? What's the one thing that you would do every single day for the rest of your life to benefit all of humanity? 
once you have clarity in your life and you understand how your genius level talent is working with your passion, you will be made aware of your purpose, your reason for being. And once you have a purpose, you need a perspective to help you deal with the highs and lows, the peaks and valleys that come along with living the purpose-driven life. You have to believe with conviction that the universe is conspiring to assist and serve you, not limit you. So even in the face of adversity, there is no room to think nor behave like a victim.